Are today's moves the major step in rebuilding the BP brand? Let's ask Jez Frampton, the CEO of Interbrand, which helps companies to manage their brand value. Uh, Jez, thanks for the time. What do you think of these actions? Uh, are they a first step in protecting the value of the brand? Yeah, they, they are, very much so. I think he, he had to go at some point. Him. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew that. It was an important short-term step. I think it's an interesting choice in picking an American to take the role, seeing as how probably the biggest reputational repair work needs to be done here. It's a very good point. Uh, Jimmy Fallon was just joking in the clip that we ran that uh, this is someone who's getting a big pension and a big severance package. How does that play into the brand story? Isn't that a distraction if it's about the brand and not one individual that yes. he would have a severance package like that is going to be a further distraction for BP? I think this is, um, I mean, the brand is something that will endure for a very long period of time, we hope. You know, BP is 102 years old yeah, and uh, let's hope there's another 102 years to go. So this is a very short term, you know, point in time. They're, they're challenge now has to be what's going to happen over the next three to five years. The perspective on BP depends on where you are in the world. Yes. What's interesting is in the BP statement, Tony Hayward said as his last comment, I am sorry that achievement has been overshadowed by the tragedy in the Gulf. Many Americans feel as if it was the aggressive nature of BP in pursuit of profit that led to that spill in the first place. I think, again, I don't know the ins and outs of exactly sure. what happened and, and why, but... But would that my have been your last view, line in, in a statement I like think that. it's very interesting that he should all of a sudden be saying the kinds of things that he might have been saying six months ago, um, or at least at the start of this crisis. Um, the one thing that he's failed to really show is a kind of a real empathy and understanding for what's going on in American minds. Um, and I think it's good that he's leaving on that, but the most important thing now for BP is to look at how they repair pair their reputation with the US government, the US people and the people that have been directly affected. The BP logo is everywhere. Yeah. During a crisis maybe that's not the best thing, but it's a brand that everyone has become familiar with. Now Interbrand and Business Week do placements on the most valuable brands in the yes, world. Indeed. I think last year the BP brand, it was well within the top 100 in the world, something yeah. like 80, 83. I mean, where would you place it right now? After, after <laughs> well, yeah, we actually bring out the new list in September, so I have to be a bit, yeah. a little bit careful. But, but I think it would be fair to say that BP is not going up. Um, you know, there's three things that affect it, their finances, how strong their brand is, and how important the brand is in purchase, and I think all three of those things will be affected. Is a brand different than a stock price, which we were just showing investors yeah. today? There hasn't been a lot of reaction to this news today, maybe because some of the expectations were already in the market, but still, these are some massive moves by BP and the market saying, okay, what can you do for me next? The brand really operates in a much more steady way over time, whereas stock price are highly volatile and subject to immediate opinion on a day. So what we'd expect to see in any company is the brand actually reduces risks. But in this instance, BP is going to get hit hard. There's no doubt about that. All right, Jez, appreciate your perspective on this story. Uh, one that is still developing, Jez Frampton, the CEO of Interplane Global.